By the year 1805, Nelson had risen to a central position in the defence hierarchy. He had succeeded despite the loss of both his left arm and eye a decade earlier, an unfortunate but common product of the medical establishment's antiquated practices. Trafalgar would prove Nelson's greatest battle. It would also be his last. The short peace now having broken, the monarchist Nelson sailed to face Bonaparte's Republican force once more. Yet to face Wentworth in battle, Bonaparte retained a persuasive numerical advantage, five ships to the better of Nelson. Nelson had devised a novel strategy and launched his force in twin columns, with Lieutenant Hardy to his right. Hardy had earlier sacrificed his own ailing frigate, the Santa Sabina, to preserve Nelson's force. Bonaparte, in response, ordered his fleet to the left, a critical error for which he would later offer a formal apology. As the battle entered its final hour, two badly damaged English ships managed to get off crucial shots before being destroyed. Sensing success, Nelson led the party to claim victory. Yet, as he boarded his opposition's ship, a shot rang out and Nelson was struck. Lying wounded amongst his men, Nelson enjoyed victory for a few brief moments. Struggling, Nelson cried, Kiss me, Hardy. And Hardy, being a man of reasonable people skills, complied. As his life ebbed away on the increasingly unstable seas, none knew how long Nelson might persevere, but all felt sure that he would not long survive.